everybody love L with the boy. Everybody love L with the boy. YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy. Y'all know who it is. I know it's been a while, but your boy been mad tired. I'm telling you, man, this week been... I've been trying to stream more, but this week, job just been more demanding. The other day, I did more hours than I ever done in my life in one single day. If you follow the Mag Squad Facebook page, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you ain't following the Mag Squad Facebook page, you know what I'm saying? Put your information down there. Put your stream down there. Put what game you're playing. If you're looking for a squad, you're looking for anybody to run with, Warzone, Black Ops, it don't matter what you're playing. Uh... Grand Theft Auto. Somebody posted the other day, said looking for somebody to play Grand Theft Auto with. So if you're already part of the Mad Squad uh, fam, uh, Facebook group, go and check that out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, link me in the description below. So y'all know what I'm doing. Leave updates over there. Let y'all know what's going on. Just general conversation. Just chatting all that other shit. Y'all know it's your boy. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into this because uh, back in November, I joined a Kickstarter. You know what I'm saying? Kickstarter be having different people up there with ideas creating stuff whether it's uh hardware software just everyday shit right so the elgato stream that costs a lot of damn money that i was not trying to pay i mean just do you if you if you know streaming you know the world of the internet and stuff like that a lot of people use the stream deck so i was looking for a cheaper route so i come across these guys that was making the turn up volume mixer let alone in itself, it's just what it is. It's a volume mixer. So what comes in the box? Oh, how the box comes? This is the box. Say turn up on it, basic box, all black. As you can see, it got beat up in the process of uh, shipping. I'm not gonna complain. Shit can be handled better, but it did not affect the product. So I'm not gonna make a big deal about that, but this is the box. If I can get this. That big ass dent in it, try to get get it open. Ain't no use. Fuck it. Nothing much came in there besides the volume mixer itself and some stickers. Stickers got what you can't see. They're white because of the volume mixer itself is black. So when you label each button for what its purpose is, that's what it's for. You know what I'm saying? So here's the stand. And I got some real, for real D grade B roll. Some of the best shit you ever seen in your. I, it's, I give it a D plus. But here's the stand. Stand very sturdy. Good metal. You know what I'm saying? Good metal. The pad on the bottom. It has the rubber pad, but it's not very grippy. So if you have like a... I don't know what kind of desk I got, but it doesn't stick to it well. So when I, you know, it slides around when I try to adjust volumes and hit buttons and all that other shit. Uh, we're going to sit this down. And here's the volume mixer itself. As you can see, you probably can't. Braided USB-C cable. Good cable. Plug right into your computer. Use it however you want to. The volume mixer. Get the cord out the way. You got five knobs, five buttons. Cro program to however you want to. You know what I'm saying? You probably can't see it. Let me cut my light off. As you can see, you have the LED options up there, which I have set, and we'll get into all that. And um, nice build quality. The body itself is plastic. Like I said, the stand is metal. The knobs are metal. They're they, they, they going to last a while. Good while. They're good knobs. Um the uh buttons they're clicky you can hear it let you know when it's uh when you you know activate it for whatever you use it for but um that's the product itself let's get into the program you go to the get started page and the get started page is exactly what it says get started you know it has its own little short unboxing in it so you can see exactly how it comes shipped to you right no problem then, you know, just instructions, pull the film off, plug it in, download the software, uh, and open and configure the buttons. Now, that's why I came into a problem, because that was a pain in the ass. And con number one, the website does not give enough information to the newbie. If you're somebody like myself, I've been doing this shit almost like a little over a year. And I was looking for a cheaper option to do what I want to do, especially in OBS, which was the main reason I bought it. So I can start stream and stream, record a clip, um, just transitions and volumes and shit like that. You know what, what the average motherfucker do. You know what I'm saying? It, it, to me, you better off using the hotkeys uh, programmability within OBS itself instead of using this volume mixer. We'll get into all that. So, you know, use the knob selected to the left. And all that. I'm going to bring that up, too, so we can get into all that. But this is just the website itself. 
It doesn't give you a lot of information. Lights on the LEDs, like I showed you in the beginning, pick the color, so forth and so on. Cool, I mean, I mean, all right. That's the basic shit. Now, we're gonna pull the volume mixer up. And as you can see, you know, um, device name, you can set different profiles, right? So we're gonna go to the button effects. And like I said, five. you, you click on the button and program it to how you want to. You can click on the light strips above it and program it how you want to. And these are all the programs it'll give you. Monitor, brightness, brightness, master, volume control, master, program, active window. As you can see, I got it set for microphone volume. So my Elgato microphone, I got it in here so I can adjust the volumes with it. Uh, input and output, voice meter. I use voice meter too, you know what I'm saying? But if you know how voice media is you can do all the same thing but this will give you the options without having to all out of what you're doing go into voice media and just volumes or so forth and so on uh then you got obs studio source game that's for the knobs so then you have the button effects same thing you know you click nothing no animation no nothing you got a micro you got a launch program you got a close program switch profile skip forward pause mute programs and i got this one set up to mute my microphone Mute, so you know, cycle out, select output device, input device, back to voice meter, and then toggle OBS features. Like I, and this was the main reason why I got it, so I could do OBS on the fly, right? That's where it becomes a pain in the ass. So first, we're gonna start out with this light strip. If you click on this light strip, it gives you ways you can adjust your knob, right? And as you can see, two color knob brightness adjustment. That's what I have it set on. So minimum for me is blue, maximum being red. But you go to this button here. No. Yes. You can go, no. Go back up to the light strip, right? So now you can go to source muted or strip muted. The thing about that is you only can use one or the other. So when I, while I was in it, I could select, I want my min max volume color, right? But... When I would select when I want my mute color, it takes that option there away. So now I can no longer use the min max. Now it just has it to where it shows me where it's muted or not. I couldn't figure out what the fuck I was doing. And as I said, the website does not give you enough information if you've never done this before. So that was one problem. Setting up the volumes was cool as long as you was doing it through Windows. But when it got to... This button here I have blank because I wanted to use this button itself where it's not even blank to toggle the stream off of my OBS. There's no more information. It does not tell you how to go into OBS to make this software communicate with the OBS software so it'll actually do the function that it's giving you here. And it does the same thing with uh, the other buttons. These two uh, knobs and buttons on the end I have selected for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But like here. I wanted to make this source game for OBS. I can use the volumes in my OBS. It says launch OBS to see configuration options. I did that. I don't know how to fuck in OBS to look for that. You see what I'm saying? It did, it did not give me enough information to do so to tell me actually how to get this damn thing to work with OBS. That was frustrating as hell. I sat here for an hour playing with this damn thing, trying to see you know, if I can make it, stop, record, uh, capture a clip, change a scene, whatever, because you have that option with this. And, and I was going the cheaper route because I didn't want to spend all that money for a stream deck. And I'm still not going to do it because the El Gato stream deck is very handy, but it costs too much for the functionality that it do. It's just it's just a fucking pad with buttons on it and an LCD screen. $150 so I can change options. I can capture a clip. I can make sounds, I can change scenes, I can, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's, it's hardware and software, which a lot of shit is. But being that the popularity of it is so high, they can make money off of it because people actually want it. Same thing like the Go XLR. So I was trying to go the cheaper route and try to get this shit all in one. Sometimes that's not the best route. Um. So uh, that's, the, that, that's my... The thing I have with this is, it's very basic. You click on the button, you set it to do what you want it to do. When communicating with OBS, it's not that simple. They don't give you no instruction on how to set it with OBS. The website, if we can go back to it, only get started, it's very basic. Pick a button, apply, 
uh, do whatever you wanted to do. You can take the LEDs and you can apply the same color to all buttons. Cool, not a problem. Do that within the, uh, the turn up software. But as I was stating, to make it, to make it capture a clip, uh, record a, um, well, same thing, record a scene, record like I'm doing now, uh, start stream, end stream, so forth and so on. There's, there's no information on how to, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only individual who got one of these, but as of now, you cannot find a YouTube tutorial guide on it. Even the video that Turn Up posted, it just gives you the basic shit. It's like a two minute video. It doesn't give me the answers that I'm looking for on actually how to use this. So the biggest con with this damn thing is the the how to use. They don't give you enough information how to use. Everybody is not uh, technically inclined to go in here and dig in this shit and actually know what the fuck they're looking for in order to make this pro uh, um, this product work to the best for them. And that's the problem I'm having. So right now, only thing I can do with it is mute my mic, mute my active window, turn my volume up for my uh, for my stream and stuff like that. And 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 that's it. The the other options that is is allowing you, I cannot do. I cannot. I can't use it. So it's like, was this a waste of sixty five bucks? You know, to be an early bird on a Kickstarter. To me, I'm not gonna say it's a waste. Good product, poor execution. They the turn up needs to update the website itself to give more detail or even make a video themselves to give more detail on actually how to get this shit to work how you want to use it like i said you got five volume knobs you got five buttons that's 10 different options you can have with this thing alone at that price point to make it do what it do if we can get it to make it work to do what it's supposed to do to work for the consumer itself this shit will be banging but like i said this is this is it in a nutshell this is these are the options for the buttons this is the options for the volume and these are the options for the led strips you only can use two options at a time that's that's it you can't use no other options so if you're going to use the min max let you know when your volume's uh at the minimum and your volume at the maximum so forth and be it now if you want to use it to make this button here when you select mute to make sure to show that your microphone is muted on the l for the led strip that's all it's going to do and then it's not going to allow you to use the min max anymore I don't, I don't see nothing else that can tell me otherwise that I can use all three of those options. Because as of right now, you can use one option or the other, not both of them. And that's about it. That's the turn up volume mixer. If they upgrade the, uh, the website to learn, to teach an individual how to better use it to program it for OBS. I have not tried Streamlabs because I don't use Streamlabs. So I can't tell you how I work with Streamlabs, but I use OBS Studio and uh, to, to make this shit talk so you can use it uh, amongst one another to coincide. I don't know how. I've been looking and I've been looking and I've been looking and I can't find nothing yet. Any other individual who has received this turn up volume mixer and know how to, please reach out to me. My information will be in the description below. Maybe you can help me out. You can teach me something on how to do so. Other than that, like I said, man, Good product if you can make it, if you can get it to work for what you want to use it for. Poor execution on how to explain how to use it. Like I said, to get started on a website sucks ass because that's all it is. Select the knob, give it an option. Select the color on the LED strip, give it an option. And that's it. That's this that's it. That's to get started. It doesn't tell you anything else. So if they if they update it to give us more information on how to do so, it'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm running long. I'm repeating myself. I'm rambling on. Like I said, man, it's your boy. Mag Squad fam Facebook group be in the description below. Join that shit so you know what's going on. Uh, Other than that, y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I not drop another video or when I go live. And I will be going live tonight. Uh, We're going to try to see if we can get further in this fucking Returnal game. Um, Other than that, it's your boy. I'm out. Turn up volume mixer. The creators. Good idea. Poor execution on the software. It is what it is. Holla at your boy, man. I'm out.